Okay, we're back. This is our last lady series, lady series number five, um, riding a bicycle. Let's go ahead and start sketching our lady in a bicycle. So, if you're not familiar or good at sketching freehand, you can trace this part or just use a reference photo for your bicycle so i'm not really familiar with a bike um, i had a friend in facebook and they are riding a bicycle so i use that photo as a reference and um the angle of the you know, my friends was one was the the wife and one was the husband um the husband's location and position is the one i use as a reference because i really like um the way his feet and the setup of his body and stuff like that it's great for what i'm planning so i use that as a reference and I just added all the equipment or the the details that I wanted. So, so I just added the dress and make it a, a lady and stuff like that. So the photo really helped me a lot. Most of the time, um, I try to sketch or doodle or just, you know, practice looking at a photo and um, sketching them it gives you idea of the proportion and what the other section needs to go and stuff like that the more you do it the, the more better you are at freehand so i'll suggest if you would like to learn how to sketch just practice at first, you can trace it, then pay attention to what you are tracing and the proportion of it. And then later on, um, when you're great or really, really awesome at tracing, like no mistakes and stuff like that, then try to um, do freehand. It's normal to have, you know, mistakes, erasures, and that's fine. Um, that's part of your progress, so just keep on doing it. So, she's riding the bicycle with the basket in the front, um, and later on we can add flowers in the front of the bicycle again thank you so much for joining me today um, mega shout out to my friends that are present today thank you for your unending support and for your time in your appreciation with art. So as you can see, I have a lot of erasures and stuff like that because I don't like the proportion. So. We're almost about done with sketching. Then we can start with our colors. Right, let's go ahead and prepare our colors. 
um, for this one I choose pink dress mm. the photo reference that I had was he has a red bicycle and a black shirt so I'm trying to to get a, a, a match on my bicycle so it's going to be grayish red bicycle so I decided to use the hot pink for the dress and then just add some silver on the bicycle wheels and marsh black on some of the areas so I think it would look great to use the hot pink dress and of course always use the tiny white for your highlights the the color white is always present in all our painting because that's what I use for highlights so even though I'm using the hot pink, I'm trying to add some of the titanium white to kind of lessen the intensity of that hot pink. It's still hot pink, but not as strong as um, if you don't add uh, the tiny white. So it's really nice color very I think it's very elegant in this particular um, subject that we're trying to do um, again this is all for beginners uh, maybe a little higher up or intermediate artists because this one is really get a lot of tiny details even though it's not fine details it still got more details compared to other um, simple subject that we did before so I'm adding the the seat of the bicycle the, which is the marsh black So my bicycle would be black, silver, white, and red. So those colors are the one that we need to use. So if your um, wheels is not circle or symmetric, that is fine you know this is just a um, or you can use a maybe round cup or round glass smaller something round item that you can use to, to trace this circle part so I'm just adding mixture of silver marsh black and some titanium white on that section and this one would be the cover of that rubber wheel so at first I'm just adding the gray or the silver in there and then adding that red I am using the cadmium red, the darkest red I have. Then just adding those metals in there. So I'm not even changing brush, I'm just doing the same, same brush where I have some hint of red if you can see it, but that's fine. I'm good with that.
and this would be the <clears throat> the one where we added the the um, pet petals. Okay, let's add some highlights in there and then we can start adding our bicycle pedals. And then we can add the layer on some of our dress because our dress is our, it's only the first layer. That's why it's looking like that, like plain and thin. I'm adding some of the burnt shana on the rare wheel. So I like that better. It pops better. So let's add a second layer of our dress. The dress is going to have a lot of layers um, because the hot pink itself is transparent so it has it needs a lot of layer and I believe this is the hot pink from when Shore and Newton brand a very fluid and most of the colors are transparent, so you do have to add layers if you use the colors. I have a different pink, but it's not hot pink. It's from abstract brand, and they're very thick. You don't need to add a lot of layer, but they don't have hot pink. I don't believe they have hot pink. Where we're adding the leg color and the boots. And I'm just adding a boots in there. So, adding some gear in there. All right, let's finish the bicycle so we'll just continue the same color of what you used in the rear part of the bicycle um, just add those so red on some part and then has highlight on some part and then mix it with silver Try to mix it with silver so it looks like a metallic metallic color you might notice that I keep going back to the dress again we need to have a lot of layer on the dress so when it get dry I, I keep going back in the dress and add some layer and colors. Then we can work on the other part, then go back to the dress. Mm 
Alright, let's go ahead and add the skin color, which is our portrait paint. So some highlights, some dark area. For the highlights, I'm still using the titanium white. Nothing special in that one. So. So the arms and the hands, they're um, trying to hold the bicycle handle and the neck and the face. So let's add those colors in there. Same brush. Nothing's changed. They didn't even change in a brush. Same brush. That's just a round brush. I think it's number two or number one. So I'm adding the right arm. I'm using an 8x8 eight eight canvas, so it's small as well. That's why it is um, that's why I'm using the not really the detail brush, but the smaller brush. So I'm adding some shadowing in the neck. Um, that is a burnt Shanna in there. All right, we'll do the handle of the bicycle that I'm using the marsh black then just add some of the the red so not too detailed or not so super detailed on that one. Then <coughs> this is the basket I'm using just the um, raw shana and an ocean green I decided to mix it the ocean green to make my basket in there and then just add the layout with the marsh black And I'm trying to finish the front wheel. And I'm sorry that it's not focused and you don't see it. So it might take a while before I noticed that um, it wasn't focused. Okay, I'm still doing the same thing what I did in the rear end. It's the same colors. I did the Mars black first on the rubber part of the wheel. Then add some silver. 
also, and then red. It's the same, um, it's a repeat of the other wheel that we just did. So I might finish all this front wheel before I realize that it's not even focused. There you go. And then just add that. Um, it can be plastic or metal part of the top of the wheel to kind of protect the wheel. There you go. Very simple. And then just add some highlight in there. Adding more of the silver to make it look metallic or metal, not too plastic color in there. That's all it is. And I'm going to change my brush to um, flat brush when I try to do my hair. Since the round brush, I don't really use it for my hair. Just adding some more of those shoulder dress in there. I will, I probably would do um, marsh black hair, so I'm just adding that black with a little bit of um, titanium white. So just add that in there. You can try to use a yellow color to make it blonde it probably would be okay for for blonde in there and let's add the detail small tiny details of the hair so i'm using a detailed brush for those hair and it's like flying in the wind so you add some of those little strands of hair. So I'm just trying to um, get those little strands and make it look like it's Like, um, look like we got, um, it, we have a breeze while she is riding her bicycle. And I'm trying to add some of the waist detail in there, maybe a ribbon or like a separation of the dress you can add some details if you like probably a ribbon in the back but i'm just adding that part in there and um i wanted to have a separation between the shoulder dress and the in our our arm so i'm adding that black part that's um it's like an outline it's it's like an outline of the, the dress 
you probably could add white also in the lower part of her dress in the very end so it's like an outline it might be good as well and let's go ahead and add our flowers um, I'm using the ocean green as a like a background kind of and then add the yellow just random colors everywhere so it's going to be a, a bush or a bouquet of flower in the basket so i'm just using a random colors that i i can think that would go together with our pink dress and our red bicycle so i'm using the still hot pink which is her dress and then the red which is her bicycle and to highlight it i'm using the yellow and ocean green and some white so just randomly add those color no particular patterns it's just a daub it's just a top of the brush i'm back to my same brush that i use my brown brush so the only different brush i use is for the hair which is the flat brush and the details but the rest are same brush brown brush so as you notice we added layer of color on a dress and that's still not done I'm adding highlight on the dress. Just adding highlights. More details on the hair. More strands. Step back and take a look at what else you want to add on your painting. Okay, I'm trying to add some layer on the face. little highlight everywhere you know and to step back okay i think i'm pretty happy with what we have now so let's go ahead and add some color in our surface so again i like to do my surface bluish it's a it's a blue turquoise um mixed wood marsh black and titanium white it's just a simple make it surface look color since we are not really focused on the surface and that's how i do it and i'm making it quick and fast to just show hey there's a surface in there So if you're doing this, I suggest to mess this up because I added the surface later. It would be easier if I added the surface first and then add my bicycle. But um, it looks fine anyways. 
because it looked like my surface has patches or potholes and stuff like that so it's not really patterned which is really great so and then I'm just adding a background mostly titanium white in ocean green so just random back and forth of your brush um, this is a different brush this is a flat brush to go ahead and get it done get it over with because it's it's just a simple titanium one and ocean green and just cover all those blank area so it's nothing special here we're not even doing clouds or whatever so it's just a background we're, we're focused on the lady and the bicycle. And you can you can also just leave it as is, like the canvas color, the white. You can if you want, but I, I'd rather have some some color in there, even though it's almost the same as the the canvas color, but it's still good to have some some color in there so that's it it's very simple yeah i'm just trying random random add some color in there in between of the hair wheel just randomly even though I still have some spots that I didn't even add some of those colors, that is still fine. It's, it's not it's not a big deal. Because when it's hanging, when, when our piece is hanging in the wall, you don't really see those little tiny spots in there anyways. Her focus is the lady, her hair flying with the wind and stuff like that with the breeze so. all right i step back and take a look and um i thought i was done but when i looked at my basket i was like well i, I want to add more flowers in there so let's go add some more flowers after we sign and I think I'm running out of Marsh Black, so let me go ahead and get me some Marsh Black. So this is very simple step-by-step -step tutorial, last series of Our Lady acrylic painting. So I hope you enjoy this past week's past tutorials. Um, and I hope you learned something out of it. At least something hopefully in the future you'll try to paint and who would know you might be good at it until you try you won't really know so let's add some more of those flowers and some white titanium white Some yellow a little bit. There we go. I'm trying to make it fluffy like a bunch. Then just add some of those ocean green, random randomly ocean green. So. And then finally, I'm adding another layer on my dress. So in the back section of the lady, which the hair um, creates shadows, so it's darker in the back. So that section in there is darker. Oh, 
oh, forgive me, I'm sleepy. I'm adding some of the, what color is this, purple. Um, the dark section purple is great to add in a pink. You probably could use a cobalt blue. Might, might look great as well, but I have a purple, so that's why I just add some layered of purple in there. Okay. Just like some of the creases of our dress. That's just to show separation of those folds because she's riding the bicycle. So it's not really all flat and uniform color. All right, guys, we are done. Thank you so much again for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please share the video. You can follow me on Facebook, JJ Britton. And I hope to see you again on our next tutorial next Saturday. Thank you so much and have a blessed day. Goodbye.